There's a new predator in the ocean depths. This beast lurks around Atlantic coral reefs, looking different than any sea creature you might have seen, and has especially effective hunting habits. Its prey? Lionfish, one of the most destructive fish in that neighborhood. So what are these new apex predators? They're robots, piloted by scientists deployed to restore balance to coral reef ecosystems. Coral reefs benefit both land and sea alike. They support around 25% of all marine life and protect nearby shorelines. But these vital ecosystems face many threats, both natural and human caused. These threats can disrupt the delicate balance between organisms, potentially throwing the ecosystem into chaos. And in the case of Atlantic coral reefs, lionfish are a big one. That's where these robots aim to help. Sometimes it takes a new kind of predator to tackle an old one. Now, the reason lionfish spell trouble for Atlantic reefs is that they don't belong there. They're invasive, meaning they aren't native to those waters and are destructive to the sea life there. Lionfish are native to Pacific and Indian Oceans, where they're eaten by other predators, like large moray eels, so they don't cause problems for those ecosystems. But without natural predators to keep their numbers down in the Atlantic Ocean, they wreak havoc. They probably got into the Atlantic in the first place due to aquarium owners tossing their unwanted lionfish into the sea, making them a problem that we humans introduced. Shocker. That might sound like a reach, but lionfish can reproduce pretty impressively. They mature in 12 months and can spawn 2 million eggs per year. What's more, they're powerful predators, eating a wide variety of reef fish and crustaceans. If it's less than half the size of a lionfish, it's not safe. If that wasn't enough, lionfish have venomous spikes, providing effective armor against predators that aren't equipped to handle them. This means that their numbers and their destruction aren't kept in check by predation in the Atlantic. That is, until conservationists decided to step in. A team of conservationists and scientists developed a robot to enter the coral ecosystems as the new top predator of the reef, targeting lionfish exclusively. It is called the Guardian. It looks a bit like a long robotic tube with a camera on top and two metal arms sticking straight out in front of it. Each of these features serves an important purpose. The camera allows the operator to pilot the robot using a controller. With the help of an AI system that identifies, tracks, and positions the robot, the Guardian pilot duo approaches the prey and uses its metal arms to deliver a zap to stun the target, not kill it. Much like a robot vacuum sucks dirt and debris off the floor, the Guardian suctions the stunned fish into its capture chamber. The original robot can hold 10 lionfish at once, and it's designed to work fast too, potentially capturing 50 to 100 fish per hour. With enough usage, the robot fishing can add up, but because of the manual nature of the Guardian's first prototype, that would require a consistent presence of human pilots. Because lionfish are a popular fish for humans to eat, the developers of the Guardian debuted its prototype at a lionfish cook-off in 2017 to raise awareness about the invasive species and market the device to anglers as a solution to the problem. Since then, the Guardian has improved to hunt uncrewed, as well as carry more lionfish and run for longer on a single charge. The Atlantic lionfish dilemma is an example of how human influence can both harm and benefit an ecosystem. People introduce lionfish to the Atlantic reef ecosystems in the first place, but enough robot fishing can potentially restore balance. After all, we're animals too. And when done responsibly, one study published in 2022 suggested that humans can behave like any other creature in the ecosystem and act as top predator, this time with some robotic assistance.